What is up, YouTube world? I am Ashley D. Please be sure to like and subscribe to all. So today's message, I'm going to be speaking on something that I've been speaking on for quite some time now. And it's a pretty popular topic. But everything I'm going to state, I'm going to start off by saying it's allegedly. And also, I'm going to take a trip down memory lane with you. And I'm voicing my own opinion of what I feel based on this topic. So today I'm going to be speaking on this couple called the Latroops. And the Latroops are a popular YouTube couple that has now been pub publicly going through a divorce. And it's been an up and down roller coaster for the past year, year almost, close to a year. They've been going back and forth publicly. So much so, I'll say allegedly again, Mrs. Lyona, we call his wife, Miss Latroop been going back and forth for a while she's been putting bank receipts online as well as exposed supposedly exposing him and claiming to be a domestic violence victim when you state something like that you have to have facts to back that up when you say such a claim about someone that has a public platform like that you have to be able to show things show proof and if you was such a victim, like so many more I know, those type of victims move strategically. They move in silence. They never try to bring their partner down so publicly and humiliate them each and every day or constantly speak and taunt them. People that are DV victims, they get offended when they see how this girl has acted. And it's once again an insult to these people that are really publicly going through, has supported her, and has been through such things. Not only so much so that, but this was a popular couple that has been on YouTube for years now. They do skits together with the family, and they bring skits somewhat of reality things, different situations, and certain things you probably possibly go through. And also, we've watched Miss, allegedly, once again, Latruth, who was just Miss Brianna before, if we go back down memory lane again, before there was the Latruth, there was the Mr. Latruth. He was always so motivational, speaking on God, speaking on health, just the type of person, like a big brother. He gets online, and he's so enthusiastic he's a rapper as well as a singer he has such an aura and energy about him and before there was the Latrus, there was him a single bachelor who had so many followers and subscribers everybody poured into this man because he was such a good person at one point in time he was single like i said it and miss the truth comes along before she became Miss Latrue, the day she met him, and there's so many more videos that you can go into to crack down the cycle of both of them and how they first met. The day they first met, this woman that's a mother of three at this time, she brings her kids with her to meet him for the first time. And immediately, they call this man dad. Right there was a big, big red flag. So now I'm going to start saying, this is called when the teacher becomes the student. Because right now I'm going to be teaching to quite a few of you out here. Whether you're breaking into the YouTube industry and you start off small, small channel like myself. You have people that support you from family to friends, even spouses. People that's been with you from day one. Those are the people that you probably bring with you and show love to you as you grow as your platform continues to prosper and as you build once you get there and you continue to go up those people are the ones you always reach back to because they've been with you when you had nothing those are the people that helped you and supported you and believed in you when you were four subscribers to 20 subscribers to four thousand subscribers then you four hundred thousand one million those are the people that continually had your back, listen to your YouTube videos, and no matter what 
continue to pour into you. So now we have the single bachelor, the teacher, Mr. Latrue, meet Mrs. Latrue, allegedly, and it's all on videotape. She bring her kids, back to what I was saying, to meet this guy for the first time. And the first introduction, who, what woman you know will bring her kids with them to meet a guy that they're just meeting face to face. I don't care if you've been talking to him online for five years. Being a mother myself, you're gonna wanna protect your kids. You're the mother. Your first instant will be, I'm gonna see him. I'm going to date him for a while. Get to know him. See what type of person he is. See how he feels about kids. Get a feel and an interact with this man before I just turn around and bring my kids around him. You don't do certain things like that. But guess what? That's what she did. That right there should have been a red flag. This man already had his platform. It was high up. And then we have this woman that's coming along that probably allegedly was in his inbox constantly, constantly, constantly hounding him down. You have to realize at one point you're going to have people coming at you when you're going up. They see that. They're going to pay attention to you being single. And not only so much that, but they're going to prey on the things that you say in your videos and watch you and feed off of that. And like I state in my other videos as well, soul ties is so serious and that soul bonding is so real whether you believe it or not these two had something in common and that lady played on that they both lost their mother so sometimes you get people like that that come into your lives that that are wolf in sheep clothing pretending to be everything that you need them to be in that moment they pretend to love you nurture you feel bad for you understand you i lost my mother too i know how you feel now you got to understand this. You have some people that lose a parent. They can become hurt, bitter, and they love with their heart. And they're looking for that love to replace that emptiness and that feeling. And then you have some people that do the opposite because they never felt that mother love. So they're out here doing God knows what because they never had that control from a mother. They don't know how to be a woman. They don't know how to behave. They don't know how to be a mother themselves because they never had a mother. So they're out of control and reckless with the things they do. And they don't see anything wrong with it because they don't know better. And I'll just say, maybe she didn't know better. Maybe she didn't have a stepmother, an auntie, or some type of mother figure in her life to show her how to be a mother. Even so, a mother to her kids. So maybe that's a mistake. But before you get involved, even with a man with a woman, it could be a woman with a man. When you're building and wanting something in life, it's okay to date someone new. You don't necessarily have to be with the person you're starting off with. Sometimes things just don't work out. However, it is important that you make sure that person that is with you, that's going to be your spouse, their intentions are 110% genuine. You got to make sure this person is there for all the right reasons before you open up your world to them. However, I feel as though Miss Lyona, a.k.a. Latruth, Miss Latruth, played on all this man's weaknesses, his emotions. She pretended to be everything that he needed in that moment, not to mention being a mother. So he felt like she was nurturing. That was the downfall. That was the thing that they supposed to have in common that eventually was used against him. And that's a hurtful thing. Even when you're in a relationship and your spouse pretends to understand you, can relate to you, know how you feel, and they're there for you. And then when you guys get into a brief argument or you disagree, that's when their true color show. They use everything you said against you and hurt you with that. When you once share with them how you felt and you're in your emotions and for this person to turn around and manipulate your feelings and not only throw it up in your face, but put it online and use it against you. That's not love and those intentions from the beginning were not pure. So you have to understand that. And you also have to know the difference between trauma body, 
when two people experience something so traumatic in their life and that's what bonds you together that trauma if you're trauma bonding with someone and that's serious make sure you both go through extensive therapy so you're there together for all the right reasons and you're not there making each other miserable because you feel like you have this one thing in common and you're holding on to it together both of you are going through the same thing but yet your outlook can be completely different and that's what make this relationship a nightmare but you feel like we both can relate because we lost our mom no she can relate to someone else because maybe she still like I said, didn't have that motherly intuition. So she viewed her life and her input on things was completely different from the way your life was and your input. You've always been a go-getter. You bring this person into the picture and in the beginning of all her videos, she stayed how you upgraded her, how the teacher taught the student. She upgraded him. He upgraded her. She claimed she had three degrees and she was doing this and that in the healthcare field. And one minute she turned around, if I'm not mistaken, and said she was working at Best Buy. So which one is it? So you went from working at Best Buy to working at the hospital, allegedly making $10 an hour, to now you're at home in a beautiful house and your husband is supporting your dreams. That is a dream for every woman, most women, to be supported in their dreams so their dreams can become reality for them. But yet, you used everything that this man poured into you against him. And I can see he's been emotionally drained. This man has battled cancer. And instead of you being by his side, you're fighting with him allegedly over his phone. You should have been nurturing this man at that moment. Your motherly intuition should have kicked in. You should have been there for him. This man had to move around like nothing was wrong when he wasn't in the right health, right state of mind. He felt alone during this time. And I also feel like maybe by him not having a mother, he didn't know how to show that soft side to you, but he showed his love in different ways. When you get in a relationship in the beginning, everything is fireworks, everything is good, everything is fine and dandy in the beginning. It's like a love, two love struck people in a, in a honeymoon stage. But once that goes away, you got to see what connects you two together besides just those fireworks, those sparks, or it can even be sexual. You have to have something in common. Marriage is a serious matter for better or worse. And especially when you go from being a man with one child to now you're in a household with a woman with three kids. And now you're paying attention to this motherly skills that she have and it's put to the test. And now you have a platform that you have to live up to. You have millions of followers. And you also now put this woman into the equation. She bogarted her way in the equation, if we're honest about it. She bogarted her way into your lives, into your life, and you guys wind up married. And I'm not going to say she forced that because it takes two. You sign that paper, you married her for better or worse. You put that ring on her hand. Do I think you was naive about some stuff? Yes, I do. Do I think she played on your emotions and your vulnerable state? Absolutely. In all her videos, she spoke nothing but great things about you and you were a king. I don't know what transpired and what shifted in this relationship. I do know you helped build this woman up. You were the teacher teaching a student. You helped get her to where she needed to be, she allegedly got her veneers. She allegedly got her surgery. She allegedly fixed everything she didn't like about herself to where now she feel like she's whole. Now she's making money. Now she feels good. She feels independent. You did that for her. Now she feels like she's untouchable. You wake up one day and all your millions of subscribers are gone. Everything you worked so hard for is gone within a blink of an eye. So now you think it now, wow, I have to build myself back over up. But it's a good thing now I done built my wife to where this is my plan B. And that's how I should be in a relationship and in a marriage. If you have plan A you working on, your wife or your spouse, your partner, whoever, y'all should be able to come together to have a plan B. 
if that doesn't work out your business or whatever you're doing, that plan B should be followed through. And then we working on plan C. You should be able to depend on your spouse for whatever matter of time and support one another until that dream goes through or if something fell through. And they have to pick up the slack or pick up the weight for a while. That's what a marriage and commitment and that's what true love is. However, I feel like you were in it for love, Mr. Latrue. You felt like once you lost your platform, it was not so bad. You were hurt. You was devastated. But you felt like you had a plan B. Everything you poured into your wife and you built up with her, you felt like now I could get fall back a little bit. I could focus maybe on my music, you know, promote myself a little more, do the things I actually really wanted to do. Because you probably started off on YouTube doing the skits, but in reality, we both all know you have a beautiful voice. We all know you're very talented. And that's probably the main thing you wanted to do, break into the rap stream or singing. R&BC. So that's what you felt like probably you could fall back and your wife take a seat and focus on those things while your wife continued to build and grow with you guys and you check in with her and you guys still do skits and family things on there. And behind the scenes, it's quite obvious you was the teacher. You was coaching everything. You had everything under control. When you had everything going, everything was nice. The skits were clean, they were classy, the kids was nice, the hair was combed, the house was ran. It looked at like a positive, black, influential couple building and growing together. Everybody tuned in to see you guys, to see what black success and love looked like. In the beginning, it was sketchy to everyone what her intentions were. But at the same time, behind the scenes, she probably was telling you what you wanted to hear and you probably felt like at one point in time you was in too deep. So now it's time for you to make this work because you already done brought her out here. Not to mention, you stated in several of your videos you just didn't want another child. And some people, that's understandable. I have one child myself. So maybe that broke your heart. Who knows you not being able to be in a household with your child on a regular. So you felt like whatever relationship you got in, you didn't want to go through the fact of possibly losing another child in a household, going through what you're going through right now. And that's understandable for any man, any man that loves their child. It probably tears them to pieces and rip them apart to see the ignorance, their child being tossed around when the divorce is not even fully done, being around another man and God knows seeing what. God knows what's going on. That will hurt me too. I will never question why you didn't want another child. I am very glad that you wasn't blinded by the fact that you got your DNA test right away. You knew in the back of your mind the things she did and the way she moved was suspect to you. So I'm very proud of you having your videos. However, the sad part is this when the teacher becomes the student. She built you built her up and she turned around and was plotting while you was thinking you could fall back and depend on your wife her money and success allegedly start going to her head now she has the big head and she feels like what does she need you for you're depending on her and she's not thinking about where she was before she met you she's thinking about now she's big breathing she can do this on her own she don't need you and she started questioning why she giving you this amount of money. When in the beginning of all the videos, you was the king. You put her in a position. You upgraded her. So now why are you questioning? Why are you giving your king this amount of money when you know his platform is no longer millions of followers? And he's working from the ground up. This is a partnership. Why would you question now all of a sudden? what you should give and what you doing and why you doing this for your husband what has he not done for you let's go to the beginning of your videos how you look and where you were until now i think a lot of women are possessed with that jezebel spirit and what bothers me the most is you have millions of subscribers i don't know if it's teenagers i don't know if it's young parents i don't know who it is that you're influencing but a lot of people look up to you 
And for what reason? I don't know. Because you never have much to say. Your skits are very unclassy, untasteful, and you just put it all out there. You look desperate. You look thirsty. To be 30 years old and a mother, I see five red flags going off on you at once. For you to publicly taunt your husband who put you in a position to make what? $20,000, $40,000 a month to be able to splurge on your allegedly best friend while you're in the midst of a divorce. You went from a DV victim, crying your heart out online, playing the role good, sitting next to him, putting your head down like you so hurt, you're an abusive victim. But if we go back to the next day, you're in the restaurant trying to feed him some food. And you played that part so well, you had me fooled a little bit. And then I had to rewatch it again. At first I thought about it and I'm like, dang, he did seem kind of upset and a little angry on them steps. He did kind of seem a little frustrated and mean in the restaurant where she tried to feed him and he didn't want to. Then I had to think about it. This man was tired of her again continuously taunting him, not only throwing his platform and the things he did in his face, behind the scene but now she done brought it to the front light when she know in her heart he just fed up and he want this divorce now this is her time to flip it this is her time when she been plotting from day one as soon as he say divorce i'm gonna hit him with this that this that every type of receipt he's not just gonna leave me like that she can't just walk away with her 20 40 thousand dollars allegedly that she makes a month she can't just walk away a successful black entrepreneur, single parent. She wants to walk away and destroy this black man's complete credibility with anything he's ever done. A cancer surviving victim to his manhood, questioning everything. In that man's same manhood, you proceeded to have a seed and a child with him that's so beautiful and looks just like him. And not only you continuously bash this man every day, but you also come on the camera with his child and taunt him with this stranger around these kids. And I know he don't have much say so about your other kids, so he don't even speak on it. But I know it bothers him when he do the little skits with the other kids and he think about how old your kids was when he first met them and how he taught them how to do this and the things they used to do together. I know that bothers him. But he can't even speak on that situation because he don't have any say so. Now, bring it to his baby girl and it's even worse. He still don't have a say so. I don't know what it is between y'all two that I feel like some kind of way you holding over his head. Maybe he's just a cancer surviving victim. He just wants a clean divorce. He know how you are. If he come at you, you might get worse. I have uncles that have dated females like that. I have females that's attacked them, tried to fight them verbally, mentally, tried to destroy them, bitter. But at the same time, they were southern easygoing men they wanted to walk away clean and free and they didn't want no drama so they let that woman bark 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 till she continued to let it go her bark wasn't loud anymore she moved on and she went in a different direction that's how some men are they don't want to keep barking up the tree of someone crazy because at the end of the day we don't know how far this stuff been taken behind the scene we only saw bits and pieces for somebody to say, he has a gun. For somebody to cry on camera and try to get someone hurt. Not to mention, you cry DV. You cry whoop. And then you turn around and you can't prove that. You turn around and you play victim. When we saw, if we watch it again, a man being frustrated and tired at his end of the rope. That this person behind the scene has been torturing him. This person publicly on the same platform that they taught them was teaching them how to get money how to be successful use that same platform and turn them into the student and used it against them so i would say anybody that's going into a relationship that's always already successful make sure if you're being the teacher teaching a student just like a manager at a store and anybody that's in a higher position you never teach a person your job so well 
to where you get comfortable enough, you sit back and they do it the way you do it. They don't need you anymore. They can do it on their own. That's where he failed at. That's where the teacher failed at. He should have always made sure she knew enough to where she had to come back and ask him questions. He should have made sure when she was plan B, he was a part of that plan B. It was Brianna and Mr. LaTruth platform. It wasn't just hers on her own yet. Her plan C should have been hers on her own. Plan B should have been a family one. Plan A should have been his by himself. Plan B should have been the LaTruths with the S. And plan C should have been being Miss Brianna, allegedly. That's what it should have been. That's what the smart thing to do with anyone that's being a teacher. When you're getting in a relationship and you're a public figure, fit, you're a public figure and you're trying to grow your platform, I would suggest for anyone to protect yourself. If you're trying to help someone, that's okay. But make sure you're helping them in a sense that they're playing seat. And do not put your plan B into them 110%. We see how that worked out for this man. The same people that supported him. It's the same people on her platform cheering her on with the nonsense that she pulls. This lady is on constantly, every day, doing skits with this man that not only she's bought all these lavish gifts for her, but we done saw plenty of videos where her kids done walked across the screen, not a fresh haircut, not no decent clothes on, even in one of the skits. The baby walked across the screen with a pepper, across the screen with a pepper on. No shirt. Why do you have all this time to be on live when you should be potty training your child? Pour your energy and your time into a kid instead of a man right now. What did you tell the world? You're going to be single right now. You're going to love yourself. You're not going to be thinking about a man. Not even a month later when you realize he didn't want to be with you no more. You had revenge in your eyes. Instead of continuing, like I said, to grow, build your platform, be a single parent, because that's what you're going to end up being anyways, and continue to do you and focus on you and your kids. You was good, you had the bag, and now you're fumbling it. And in the end, guess what? You will fall because every dog has their day. You're continuing to bash this man and spend these lavish gifts on this man like money don't need to be saved like there's no tomorrow when it's you clearly see your kids lacking you lacking in that area as a parent the things you do in front of your kids the girl vacation when are you going to do a guy vacation when are you going to do some fun for your kids when are you going to take them go-karting even when you do do things with the kids and take them skating Y'all take that scenery over and y'all doing it as though it's a love scene with y'all. Y'all newlyweds like the kids ain't around. Focus on the kids. Your baby girl trying to get your attention, trying to put on a skate. And y'all too busy up there dancing. Everything you do for the kids is not about the kids. It wind up being about y'all. And then people continue supporting the phony. So I ask myself this question. What kind of parent are you? What kind of person and decent human being are you to continue to support this woman who was married committing adultery on camera, allegedly, doing all these things for this man and she wasn't fully divorced, throwing herself on him so desperately and kissing him. She call it an upgrade, but we all know it's a downgrade. And any man that wasn't using her in a right mind that was a real man, he would not be allowing her to continuously attack this man every day. He will wonder in the back of his mind, is she over him? What is really her motive? Why is she continuing to talk about her ex-husband when this should be about us? She should go ahead and sign the papers. But guess what? We all know why Mr. Wu-Tang there and his motive. For one reason and one reason only. His platform has grown, not from Wu-Tang, but from BMS just allegedly Brianna. His subscribers went up. He's selling merch more. He's being around doing little skits. And I'll give it to him. He acts way better than her. He's in character. But the one role, the one role where he should be acting the most, trying to get an Oscar, is loving on her. Being her boyfriend. 
And he can't do that. He can't stomach it. Because guess what? Behind the scenes, just like Mr. Latruth, he knows how she really is and how she operates. She think it's cute that she pours all her attention and time into this man when he's around. But in the back of his mind, even though he told the little boy to go to his room and he was comfortable doing that, he's questioning her mother's skills. There's no man in a right mind that's a real man. A real six-figure man. A real man that wants something out of life. And a real, real man that's interested in you will sit back and be in a full invested relationship with you that could possibly lead to marriage or a long-term one. And you're neglecting your kids continuously. You're yelling at them, go to their room, you sitting around laughing loud for no reason and talking. You don't even act like a 30-year-old mother of four. You act like a mother of one that's an 18-year-old. Your mind frame is so young, baby girl. You haven't even grown yet, matured enough to know the things you're doing will eventually bite you in the tail. You don't even know how to communicate and talk to your kids. You claim y'all have that kind of relationship. I have a good relationship with my son, but I'm a mother first. And when I'm genuinely talking to him about something, it don't have to go on the camera to prove to the world that I'm a mother and I check in with my kids. No. If you was having a real a long time with her and the moment was genuine, it wouldn't have had to be seen. Or even if it was seen, it would have been a little better. I felt like you was acting like y'all was best friends instead of a mother. That's not what I got out of that, baby girl. I sure didn't get a loving, mothering relationship. She kept saying her spoon broke and she was full. So when my child tells me they're full from eating ice cream, I immediately look for the lid and I close the ice cream up. Because guess what? I don't want them to get a, get a tummy ache. I don't want to spoil their appetite for dinner. So you fool, baby girl, I would have either put it up or threw it away. But you keep on, you're so invested into your audience and reading the comments. When that should be your, a long time with your daughter and you should just be letting the camera roll and you having your moment with her. But you couldn't do that. You was reading the comments. You was half listening to her. And you was... Dragging her on and cheering her on to engage with an adult audience and say what she felt like she was grown. You didn't even hear what she was saying. Her spoon was broke. And you was done with your ice cream. You could have gave her your spoon. You didn't pay attention. The small details like that you miss. And a mother of four should never miss those type of details. And being 30, I'm not going to use let you use that for an excuse. I was 25 when I had my first child and my only child. But guess what? Everybody turns 30. When you're a parent for the first time and you pass them 20 stages, instantly you know that mother tuition kicks in. Age not nothing but a number, baby girl. You can't use that for an excuse. You've been a mother four times. You're not a first time mom. You can't say, well, I'm 30, she's just learning. No, she not no 18, 19, just learning. This lady done had birth life four times. One, two, three, four. She didn't get it right the first time. Why are we going to say she's still learning? What is there to still learn? She's done it four times. And like I've stated, that mother intuition, motherly instinct kicks in. You want to protect your child. And I feel bad for Mr. LaTruth because he dropped the ball on himself and he seemed like such a great guy. And I know God will carry him through. And sometimes we all have to go through a storm in life to get to where we need to be. And maybe this was a heavy weight for him to drop. He went through the cancer situation by himself. He lost everything once again. He know what that pain feels like because he's lost a mother. So nothing can feel worse as that. He thought this relationship was going to be a bonding experience, but it wind up a learning experience. And that's for anyone that's getting into a relationship. You have to pay attention to the red flags because the people you teaching just might be the same people who try to become you and turn you into the student. So with all this being said, I'm going to continue to have 
Mr. LaTruth lifted up in my prayers. And I just hope he continues to walk and follow God. And just know trouble don't last always. And that's for anybody that's going through something in life or something similar to Mr. LaTruth. We all going through something or have been through something that traumatized us. But we have to look at it like a learning experience. God wanted us all to go through that for that moment. To get to where we need to be. To learn from it. To help others. This is a strong man. And he will get through it. He has to continue to keep his faith. And do not let this woman, naysayers, or anyone else distract you off your track from doing what you're supposed to do. You move in the way you know how to move and what's best for you. And you have a lot of people on their channel supporting you. Shout out to Sweet Ma, Luke Pop. You guys are the bomb. Shout out to Ashley Chats. Shout out to Miss Harmony. All of you guys are amazing. I watch you guys and your content. I love the way you guys break stuff down. This is one of my first longest videos. I'm going to be going live. I'm setting up things behind the scene. So it's going to be a while before I do that. But with that being said, I'm going to continue to give my advice. It's going to continue to be videos like this. But I suggest for anyone that's going through something similar, keep your head up and just look at everything for what it is. I hope to God that this man get in a position to where he's get able to get custody of his daughter. She needs that father. I would say she need a mother, but she doesn't need that kind of mother. I pray that these kids, father that is in their life now, that she claimed allegedly was never in a life only to turn around and say Mr. LaTrue was so jealous she lied the whole time and we can even talk about that for a second do you think this man with one child getting in this relationship with this woman will be so jealous to take on all these responsibilities of taking care of these three kids that's not his taking care of her and taking care of his daughter and working continuously to put them in a position to be comfortable why would this type of man get jealous of receiving help from the father of these three kids that's a lot on a person that comes in a position with one child that comes in this situation with just the intentions of being with this woman Yes, as a man, he knows he has to take care of these kids, but it's always to a certain extent if that father is there. No real man is going to get jealous of another father paying child support to help out, contribute to their kids. He doesn't even seem like those type of, that type of man. And we can even tell by the situation about Mr. Wu-Tang. He hasn't spoke on that for real, not one time, but I know it's killing him. And if she had her blinders on and she paid attention for herself, you will see that this man is clearly using you and he's not into you. When is you, when are you going to wake up and take everything for what it is and grow up, little girl? You are a scared little girl. And it's sad. You have ruined your life. And you don't see that now. But karma will come and get you. And maybe Mr. Wu-Tang is your car karma. This man is in a car with you and your kids. Y'all laughing and talking. Singing a song. I don't know if you're going to church or where you're going. But you could tell the look on this man's face. That he's so irritated. He don't want to be there but he's obligated to be there because of something you might have promised him behind the scene or something you did for him or him trying to grow his platform. That's why. Whenever somebody speak on something about y'all, here y'all go, once again, trying to show us you can do it. You try to show us you can cook, but the sad part is you can't even scramble no dang on eggs. And that's the basic thing for kids. How are you a mother of four and you can't scramble eggs? Let alone know how to fry chicken. What are you giving these kids to eat? What is really going on? How can you not know these basic things? And it starts my wheels to thinking and spinning. We saw Mr. Robert cooking. And he knows how to cook well. 
this man, from what it seems like, got in this relationship carrying most of the weight from the father figure to somewhat of a mother figure doing the cooking. My missus, um, just being, I'll say, Lyona, doing things, the basic things behind the scene and constantly antagonizing him, but getting the kids dressed for school while he's cooking, making sure they're doing homework, making sure everybody's dressed decent, making sure they have a haircut. Mr. D Mr. Wu-Tang have a haircut, have a nice line. Why the little boys can't go with him to get their hair line? But you know what's crazy? When Mr. LaTruth was in the household, everybody kept a fresh line. Everybody kept some fresh kicks on. Everybody kept some decent clothes on. Whether she say it was just for an act, at least he act that part out well. At least he acted out enough to take them to get their hair aligned, being a little boy, so they didn't go to school being embarrassed. How's your mama online bragging about this, doing this for the next person, and you don't have a dang on line? Or your clothes too small? And that's not speaking in these kids in a bad way. They're very beautiful and handsome kids that deserve the world and deserves to see the success of their mom's hard, supposedly labor. But instead, all that success is poured into a man when it should be poured into loving yourself enough to spend time alone with you, to get to know you. But you're so dark. You're so dark and your energy is so dark. You know you're just a shell. You don't know who you really are. So you don't want to tap into yourself, spending time with you alone. You've been putting on these different acts for so long. You don't know who you are. You can't spend time with yourself. You are every day whoever somebody say you are on the internet. Whoever somebody puts you out, say you are, that's who you are for that moment. Oh, why don't we see a video of you cooking? Guess what? You're going to cook today. You're going to try to cook today, but you can't cook. Who just dance in the camera the whole time while they're trying to fry some chicken? Who can take that serious? Who can say, oh, I danced the whole time. Everything this lady do, y'all turn it into a joke. And they ask you, it starts to make me question, where is the humanity in this world? Where's the compassion at? For people to continuously badger this man, belittle him. When this man does nothing, he continues to go about his skits. He tries not to speak on her. He come at her in the most classiest way with the response when she does something. She continuously say what she want to say, feel how she feel, do what she want to do. And nobody has anything to say. They turn the other cheek as though everything she's doing is justified. Even if she was a DV victim, ask yourself this question. Would a DV victim move like this? Would a DV victim fear for her life enough to where she wouldn't have a man living with her right away doing the things she doing? A DV victim wouldn't have their child, that person that's supposed to abuse them child around another man playing. They would be scared that this man would get triggered and hurt them. But yet, everybody ignores this. Everybody loves her so much. Everybody praises her so much. Everybody says she's so beautiful. What is beautiful about this dark soul and this black energy? If I'm going to give somebody credit, I'm going to give them credit. But never idolize these people. they just YouTubers. They're just regular people like you and I. If you're going to give somebody credit, give the right people credit that deserves it. Give the people credit that truly, genuinely has a motive who's pushing a positive agenda. What is she pushing that's positive? Sun out, buns out. Every video shoot is provocative. She's in a store with his daughter and her daughters, and the shorts are so short. Where is the respect and the classiness as a mother? A mother carries herself in a certain way. It's one thing when you're by yourself, okay, and you want to dress a little provocative. I might can understand that. I might but you're a mother of four, not one. And I'm not going to keep on discrediting your age and let you use that for an excuse. She's only 30. She gave life four times. 
When is she going to wake up after the first, the second, the third, the fourth? If she not woke now, then she's not going to wake up. And 39 hit her, she's still going to be the same person. She does not want to spend time alone. She does not want to get to know herself. Because she's been a made-up person for so long. And that's what her, her Wu-Tang friend is as well. We say he's gained weight. Now he's showing us him hitting the gym. These are made up characters and everybody is pouring the energy into them to keep on continuously building this negative entity up. This lady will continue to do the things she do until some of her people step up and step in and see what's really going on. Say something. Be honest about the situation. I am Ashley D. I appreciate you giving me your time tonight. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night and God bless. I'll be back soon. Thank you. Take care.